Pie and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Polkadot, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what I think is likely to happen next. As I get into today's video, if you do find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what are you waiting for? Check it out. Link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out let's jump right down into today's video and what we'll do is we'll kick things off with that one hour time frame <laughs> Okay, guys, so here we have Polkadot paired up with USDT. We're using the one hour Binance chart here for this analysis. Following on from the last video that we did on the 21st of November, you can see that we tapped into the low range. Uh, this is our expectation, basically between $4.78 and $4.93.5. We've had a good bounce from there. Let me actually get rid of the right thing. Uh, so we had a really good bounce from there. We've moved up at the moment 10.62%. Um, and looking at this, it looks like we still potentially have a little bit more to the upside to go. This is a pretty standard zigzag pattern at the moment, it looks like. So we have kind of a five wave move coming up here. We've had a little three wave correction coming down to our yellow line, uh, which is our 50 SMA. And it looks like we could potentially push up more towards $5.57. Now, our minimum expectations have been met by crossing higher than $5.28.7. So minimum would have been that double top and um, but looking at this it looks like this progression upwards more towards our upper trend line at that 557 area it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we can rally on up and come up into that range essentially what i'm talking about here is a three wave pattern that kind of does this so it's going to be interesting to see whether we can do that obviously upper area of resistance also to be found right up here at five dollars 56.9 as well but we are stuck inside a parallel channel it will appear on our one hour time frame Ultimately, we're currently in a bearish characterization on the smart money concepts. Um, so we'll see whether or not we can kind of break out of this. Any way to break out of that is going to be to hit this higher range. Um, but for now, yeah, it does look like we are in a bearish structure here for uh, from a smart money concepts point of view. On the positive side, though, if we come over here, we have the 50 um, EMA, that's the red line, the 50 SMA, that is the yellow line. They're looking to cross higher than the 200 EMA, which is the white line. Essentially, that would be bullish, uh, seeing a bullish cross here, golden cross here between the yellow and the white lines uh, as depicted here on the chart that would be pretty good and give us the confidence i think to rally on up into that higher range so although smart money concepts kind of tells us that we're in a bearish structure i think we might actually be looking for this lift up higher before we break on down which i do think is something that we'll have to consider as well taking a look at this it looks to me like we have a very corrective pattern a lot of overlapping moves with lower highs and lower lows um, this essentially will lead us uh, into a breakout situation to the upside, we're just not there yet take this up into the daily time frame, you can see that I'm tracking here is a five wave impulsive movement. However, we have to consider this a diagonal, not a impulsive break. Uh, and the reason for that is the wick that you see over here, this move to the downside essentially changes this entire structure into three wave patterns. So as I was kind of talking about previously, you kind of have a three wave pattern over there, you kind of have your three wave pattern over here, 
And what we'll look for in our final fifth wave move to the upside is going to be a three wave pattern like so. The whole entire thing will basically be a five wave structure because we had hit the 1.618 layers, making it a five wave pattern, which will basically make us a diagonal. A diagonal structure here uh, from the bottom, what we can see as our Z wave, would put us in a really confident and bullish way. Our fifth wave movement here is targeting out, uh, we find uh, numbers, we are talking about a $6.12 to $6.51. Okay, so that's going to be the area of interest for us on this fifth wave movement for that final move. Ultimately, minimum expectations are going to be set at a double top, in my opinion, so $5.89. Um, but for the most part, not looking too bad. We also find ourselves in a bearish structure still. We haven't yet broken or changed our characterizations into bullish yet. Um, and also, we can note that we are above the uh, 50 EMA, the 50 SMA, the 200 EMA, but we haven't yet got the 50 EMA and the 50 SMA, the red and yellow lines, above the 200 EMA, the white line there. Um, so I still see this as progression upwards here. Ultimately, when we complete this diagonal-based pattern, my expectation is going to be for a move to the downside, where we would look for a good retracement, usually typically between 50 and 88.2%. Um, and that would actually get us pretty much right back down to a pretty sweet spot for accumulation. I'm just going to draw a little yellow box on here. It's going to be right into this little spot. And then I'm going to remove this. So essentially what we're doing is we're saying $3.82 to $4.81. That's going to be the last opportunity for accumulation before we really, truly get a really nice lift to the upside for that next bullish market. Now, this could take weeks to months to play out. This isn't something that's going to be quick. But as you can see, we're still looking to move the price action to the upside. Once we complete our structure, we're looking to move the price to the downside. Once we've completed that structure, we'll then look for that lift to the upside. All in all, I'm pretty confident uh, in everything that's going on here for Polkadot. It's looking pretty good on the daily. We've got plenty of room to the upside to complete this fifth wave movement on the stochastic RSI. Let me just take a look and see if there's any divergences going on. Nothing there. Uh, Volume-wise, it has been decreasing as we've been correcting. Exactly what you would like to see. We'll look now for a lift in increase in volume uh, as we kind of progress into that next stage. Take this to the weekly. Uh, we can see the good low levels right back down into this area that we were previously in in 2020 is exactly where we retested. $3 to 53.2 to $4.12.5. We have found upper resistance on the 50 EMA, as you can see on the red line just there. And we are still looking for this, obviously, to finish off that move up and then pull back down into another accumulation zone before we start lifting up. Target-wise, we can see Polkadot here heading out towards $97 to $213. That there is going to be an interesting point. It's between the 1 and the 1.23C now. Uh, what we do have to acknowledge here is that we had a rather poor performance in 2021. And what we're really hoping for here is with everything that's going on in Polkadot, some fundamental changes, uh, some good marketing and stuff like that that's potentially on the horizon, we might find that uh, Polkadot actually has a really good chance to maybe over exceed this particular area here in the price chart. So from a tokenomics point of view, I think it has the potential. We just need to see some other things kind of lining up quite nicely. And so if we take a look at current price and moving upwards here towards some of these numbers, yeah, I think we could potentially see uh, from the low around that kind of, you know, $3.50 for, you know, a little bit short of 100x. But if we were to kind of gear things up more towards the 1.382 FIB scale, then that would put us right there on a 100x opportunity from the bottom to the top. So I think this is going to be an interesting one to kind of keep an eye on. I think Polkadot is something that... Uh, has some real potential as a layer zero and as one of the key kind of projects in the Web3 space. Let me know what your thoughts are on Polkadot down in the comments below, but I'm going to wrap this video up right there. If you have found it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Until the next one, though, guys, have a fantastic day.